All right, here we are for round one. Uh, our opponent is on play. This is an okay hand, it's not great. Uh, we don't have a mana creature, uh, which is unfortunate on the draw. We do have an okay hand though. We have all of our colors of mana and we have Knuckle Blade turn three. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. It's uh, a little a little rough, but not interacting for the first couple turns, depending on what our opponent's playing, of course. And uh, ooh, Temple. Well, this could be blue-white blue heroic, which is disastrous for us, because as I mentioned during the uh, during the deck tech, uh, it is a pretty bad matchup, I think, without the uh, without the cheap removal spells. And mana confluence almost certainly indicates that this is yeah heroic. Well, boo! All right, well I'm gonna go ahead and play this Sylvan Caryatid, which we did draw, so there's that at least. We're not going to block. We don't want to get uh, a Defiant Strike into Oblivion. But our opponent has not played has not played anything yet. All right. Well, Stubborn Denial is actually an excellent draw because it can stop our opponent from uh, being able to enchant his guy. Um, so I actually think I'm going to play Yavimai Coast and play Knuckle Blade. So green or er, blue. Red. So here I'm playing Knuckle Blade um, and keeping Stubborn Denial up, which means that I can possibly counter some sort of uh, pump effect that my opponent might have for his Hero of Iros. Or a potentially protection spell if I do try and kill with Crater's Claws. We're going to counter this. Denied. Oh, we get denied right back. All right, well, that will resolve then. So I could block, which could go disastrously if he has a, uh, a God's Willing. I'm just going to let that hit us, I guess. Um. Can attempt the Crater's Claws. If he had the God's Willing or Defiant Strike there, it could be horrible for me. Here he has to have God's Willing. I think I have to go for it because I can't just let him uh, get a giant guy. So if, if he doesn't have God's Willing exactly, or I guess Stubborn Denial as well. So God's Willing or Stubborn Denial, if he has like a... Uh, a Defiant Strike, it doesn't keep his guy alive. So this is, um, X is three, so it could be five mana. Uh, there's the God's Willing. So, okay, well, we're in, we're in a lot of trouble now. I guess I just attack. <sighs> hmm. Yep, here comes Hero. Give this a beat down. I can just try and kill this again. Seems unlikely that it'll work because he has multiple cards. He's four cards in hand, two mana open. I can only Crater's Claw for six. Um, so I think I might just play, I can play Courser or Phoenix. If I play Phoenix, then I don't really have a great play next turn either. If I play Corsair, I don't really have a great play next turn either. Because this hero is already a 6-6. Six, six. Mm. Well, hmm. I don't think. Can I beat another spell? I mean, he, he's got to have a spell. He didn't even play a land this turn. I 
Maybe I attack with Knuckle Blade and hope he blocks and does something, then I can Crater's Claws this. So I'm at seven, so one more hit from this is going to kill me. So if he has God's Willing, I'm dead to God's Willing regardless. Um, I guess I could play Phoenix and maybe Chump Block the God's Willings with Karyatid. But uh, I lose to Defiant Strike if I Crater's Claws this. It, his hand would just have to be nothing but ordeals and creatures for me to win by Crater's Clawsing this. But can I win if he has one of those anyway? Because this thing's lethal. I'm basically just Chump Blocking. I think I have to just try it. Hope his hand is horrible. I think that's really my only way to win, is hope your hand is horrible. Nope. Okay, I'm dead. Alright, so sideboard-wise, um, I do like the extra stubborn denial here. Uh, Teamer charm, I think, is pretty reasonable. Uh, and then I like, I actually do like destructive revelry, because uh, it is able to uh, I mean magma spray. I actually don't want the fourth stubborn denial. I just want a couple, a few stubborn denials. Um, so here, I think that uh, I think that my worst cards. Crater's Claws is actually kind of inefficient. I'm gonna take out one Crater's Claws, and then the uh, often you're just racing them. Corsair, I think, is a little a little too low impact. It's more of like a long game type card. Um, Phoenix is okay because you can often just like throw a Phoenix in front of one of the guys. The fact that it flies means that it stops like Stratus Walk. Actually, maybe we we'll, maybe we'll only play one Revelry. We do we, like being able to kill the, uh, the ordeals before your before the opponent can can uh, get them going is pretty valuable. Maybe Teamer Charm is like not good enough. I'll take out one course another courser. Take out a Pelucranos and. How good is Sarkhan? Sarkhan seems mediocre. I'm going like two stubborn denials. Stubborn denial is fine, but not great. Um, because you know, just a lot of things are happening at low mana. There, you're not you're not actually countering uh, countering like expensive spells. Stubborn denial is at its best when you're using it to stop uh, to stop like a hero's downfall or whatever. Maybe this. Stormbreath Dragon can actually both like block a lot of their guys forever and can race pretty well. Sarkhan is a reasonable removal option that also can let you win races. Um, Revelry, as I said, I think is pretty good. Uh, being able to kill ordeals before they trigger, being able to stop blue ordeal really shuts down their ability to draw a bunch of cards, and, and white ordeals make it much more difficult for them to race you. So I'm going to try this mix of stuff. I'm not sure it's correct. Uh, I haven't really played against Blue White Heroic with this version. As I mentioned during the uh, during the deck tech, um, this is sort of a matchup that this version of the deck largely punts, uh, because I think that, that you know, maybe maybe it's incorrect, because I think that maybe the, the Blue White deck is, is, is going to be more popular than, than I have previously anticipated. Um, but, you know, you don't have that much cheap removal, um, and... Yeah, sort of more, much more sort of mid-range stuff going on. But anyway, let's go ahead and try this. I will play first. Well, not Mulligan. This is a pretty good hand. We're going to lead with a Shivan Reef, uh, so we can possibly Magma Spray a Hoplite. We do take a lot of damage from our lands here, which is unfortunate, because uh, as I mentioned during the uh, during sideboarding, this matchup is a bit of a race. Trailblazer. Well, I cannot magma spray you. My opponent came prepared. All right. Well, if we're going to race, let's race.
Trailblazer is, is fine at carrying ordeals, but it's such a low impact card by itself. So I don't want to attack with the knuckle blade in the ground at this point. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play a storm breath dragon. Because if he has like defiant strike, defiant strike or something, he can kill my knuckle blade. I don't really gain much from attacking it with it, I don't think. Even just a defiant strike will that he'll cycle in his guy uh, will give him you know just the ability to, to to block, and I'd rather just keep my guy back and potentially prevent damage to myself. We're just going to Storm Breath him. Yep, there's a Feat of Resistance, so... Knuckle Blade would not have done anything. Oh, there's an Ordeal. Alright, so we're getting attacked for 4, and we're just attacking back for 12. So this game is quite possibly just over. Block. Twelve you. Now can you do eleven to me? <laughs> All right, didn't think so. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. Maybe we do want Crater's Claws. I wonder if Magma Spray is even good. Seems like it's gotta be good. On the draw, um, I don't think we wanna separate any, any differently. Maybe Team Earth Charm's not good enough. It is a little bit clunky, but it does give you the option of you will actually kill their big guys. But if they have Feet of Resistance and Stubborn Denial and God's Willing, that it's possible that like this, particularly on the draw, that this is just too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out on the draw. Uh, put it in the Crater's Claw and maybe a Courser or a Back to Nature. Hmm. One card that I that I was considering sideboarding. Um, that would be good in this matchup, as well as against other green decks, is Savage Punch. Um, Savage Punch actually you know, you know, is A, cheaper than Team Charm, and B, gives you a, a bigger boost, which makes it more likely you can actually kill their guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in... I don't think Back to Nature. I don't think we want that many enchantment removal spells. Maybe the, the other Stubborn Denial, because we're going to be tighter on mana. Stubborn Denial is actually pretty reasonable just at countering things as Force Spike sometimes, too. I'm going to go ahead and try this. So here we go. Uh, this is this is okay. We have a stubborn denial um, that can possibly counter a, a pump effect. We have savage knuckle blade and two creators claws. It may be a little bit weak overall, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. It's not great, um, but uh, the stubborn denial being able to protect, uh, prevent like a turn two ordeal or something can be possibly pretty valuable. Uh, well, we're not gonna see an ordeal, so we can play a bivouac. Mana Confluence turn one for my opponent is definitely, what? This is what one might refer to as a shaky draw on my opponent's part. All right, what do you have over there? Oh, is this a, uh, the go search for a guy? Go search for an enchantment guy? Uh, hoplite, just hoplite by itself, okay. Ah, uh, this is the wait until you can defend it plan, which is totally reasonable. I'm going to play Knuckle Blade. I'm going to get Knuckle Blade into play so we can possibly Crater's Claw um, and Stubborn Denial. Yep, 
Yep. Yeah, that guy's getting big. It's gonna be a five, uh, yeah. I'm gonna draw his cards already, which is kind of gross. Well, here, hmm. It's already five five. I can only I can only create his claws into a a uh, protection effect, which is not not really a good position to be in. Um, so I think I actually just want to I may just play Pelucranos. That way I have multiple possible blockers. The my opponent has a. Uh, If I had Savage Punch here, Savage Punch plus Stubborn Denial would be would be fantastic. Crater's Claws is a little bit expensive. You know, I can only Crater's Claws. Um, I can't Crater's Claws for enough to actually kill his guy and cast Stubborn Denial. If I did a Teamer Charm here, I would be able to just tr straight up trade, but that's not very effective either. Um, so I think maybe I may just attack and play a Pelucranos. But I can't beat I can't beat a God's Willing on Crater's Claws right now. Um, yeah, I think the the original version of Teamer that I played that had Air of the Wilds was actually quite good against Heroic because Air of the Wilds is quite good against Heroic. I'm just gonna give a beat down and play Pelucranos. Also, uh, if you really want to beat Heroic decks, there's, you can play uh, Force Away, I think is actually the best sideboard option um, to just be able to, to bounce their guys no matter how pumped they get. Some sort of just, you know, bounce effect. Stubborn Denial is, is, is quite good here, but the, the Creator's Claws without without any sort of ramp effect um, are just, you know, I'm, I'm just too far behind. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably just dead. Yeah, we will take seven. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm just going to die to a uh, a God's willing at any moment, so just gonna sit back. God's willing plus stubborn denial or feet of resistance. Yeah, there's the God's willing, and we will attempt to stubborn denial it, and we will die. No, maybe just have the second one. <laughs> yep. So yeah, uh, as I, as I mentioned, you know, this was a matchup that that I was. You know, pretty aware I was going to have a uh, a rough time in, and it's possible that that you know that uh, playing just playing a couple copies of cards like Savage Punch or Force Away in the sideboard, if Blue White Heroic is a deck that you uh, anticipate facing, uh, can, can significantly up your your percentages there. You know, as we saw, you know, particularly the fact that I was uh, I lost the die roll, so I, I was on the draw in both game one and game three, uh, meant that you know I was just I was just behind the curve. Uh, this game, if I was able to play. Uh, my Savage Knuckle Blade, and then have Crater's Claw with Stubborn Denial back up to, to kill my opponent's guy and protect my removal spell. I actually think that I have a very good chance of winning, uh, but the problem here was that, you know, I just ended up uh, not really being able to keep up mana-wise. Uh, you know, I was a mana short of being able to, to Crater's Claws plus Stubborn Denial to kill his guy uh, the turn that I, uh, that I had the, uh, that I played Pelucranos, like turn, turn four. Um, and you know it's pretty obvious that 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 the way that he played the game that he had a protection effect. So you know obviously he just died to the gods willing. Who knows whether that was in the opening hand? But regardless, uh, you know certainly uh, certainly a tough matchup and uh, and one that that you can improve if you if you want. You know cards like uh, Savage Punch, cards like Force Away. Um, I do think that those are actually probably stronger than um, just cards like Lightning Strike because and Lightning Strike is actually probably really good. 
maybe maybe better than than Savage Punch. Probably not as good as Force Away. Force Away gives you you know a card that can deal with no matter how big their guys get. Um, you can take care of it. So anyway, um, we're gonna go jump into another tournament because we are out of this one and uh, see if we can maybe dodge Blue Eyed Heroic as we had had uh, yes explicitly stated that was a bad matchup. So anyway, let's go. 